Today we're going to talk about fans in Energy Plus. And Energy Plus allows you only two options for fans in an air loop. They give you the option for a supply fan and an exhaust fan, which works quite well uh, for most applications. And um, the curves, the fan curves that they use are a pretty good general purpose curve for a fan. But what if we are doing something like um, multiple fans, multiple plug fans in parallel, for instance? Well, in order to do, do that, you have to create a custom fan curve that is specific to that array. And to do that, um, you need to have some data first. So the performance of the fan, um, and then some curves, some fan curves, uh, of the fan or fans running at various different percentages of airflow. And then you can construct a new fan curve um, uni using a, a line fit algorithm in Excel. Energy Plus uses a curve and it's based on unity which is one and it multiplies the um, fan power by this this function as a as a as a function of part load so if the fan is flowing uh, a, a lower percentage than 100%, um, it will multiply that fan power based on this curve. And that's how Energy Plus calculates the um, fan energy use for that time step. And you can see that the blue lines are the Energy Plus curve and the orange lines are the new curve that we will create based on having three plug fans running in parallel and being staged on and off. So this is a triple fan model um, and from 100% full load all the way down to 66% um, part load that has all three fans running. And then we have uh, a double fan, uh, two fans running down to 33%, and then a single fan um, down to the minimum flow, which in this case is 10,000 CFM. So what you can do is assemble your performance curves for the fans and starting at 17% um, flow, or this is uh, part load ratio, 70% flow or 70% part load ratio, um, you can assemble the air flows and um, horsepowers or wattage and the um, the uh, pressure drop and it, it doesn't matter um, you can these values can be in cubic meters per second um, and watts and pascals because this um, energy plus line fit is um, based on zero to unity and so it's it's a multiplier um, of the the uh, fan power. So um, 
these are the values that we come up with um, starting at 17 percent um, and um, the horsepower for that comes out to 0.83 at 10,000 CFM and then you go step up to the next one um, this shows one fan operating at 33 percent and this is at 2,000 CFM and the um, horsepower is 7 horsepower and the pressure drop at, at uh, this system flow is 1.1 so you continue down the, li the list and fill in these values for your fans um, the next step up um, this is a uh, part load ratio of 67% and uh, this is where you start uh, stepping it up to two fans operating in parallel. And finally, at the maximum flow. And then what we can do is we can go to Open Studio and select the fan. And the first input value that we need to input is the fan total efficiency. So we're starting out with a fan total efficiency of 0.7 and this is the default energy plus fan efficiency value. And we need to calculate the new efficiency value and this is at the design flow rate. So our design flow rate is at 60,000 cubic feet per minute. And you can just calculate fan efficiency with um, a simple uh, efficiency equation and we come up with a fan efficiency of uh, 0.733 percent at full flow so we are going to I'm going to save this as a, a different version so we can compare the models later and we will edit the fan total efficiency to this value here. 0.733. So that's the new fan total efficiency. Our pressure rise is going to remain the same. And uh, we have a 10 inches of water column here. And same with their airflow. That is also going to remain the same. Um, we can fan power minimum flow fraction. So, so for uh, most fans, um, you can go down to about uh, thirty percent uh, speed um, for a single fan. But when you have these parallel fans, um, you can go down to a much lower speed um, or a much lower um, volumetric flow rate. Um, and in this instance, our lowest uh, part load ratio, our lowest flow rate is um, 0 0.167. So we're going to change this to 0.167. Um, and this is a fraction, so um, we're just going to leave this this as a fraction so that it's, it's referencing this. Um, alternatively, you, you could say that there's a fixed minimum flow rate, um, and in that instance, uh, we would say our minimum flow rate is 10,000 CFM. So either way, you could specify it as a fraction or specify it as a flow rate. Motor efficiency uh, is at 93%, and that's pretty standard for most fans. Um, it might be a little bit different, but it's not going to make a big difference. And then finally, um, we will take a look at the fan power coefficients. So let's take a look at that. We would go back to our spreadsheet. And Excel has a built-in tool 
called line estimate or line est and it calculates a line function based on your dependent and independent variables. So for this instance, we have four variables and an intersect, or rather five coefficients that we, um, it, it's a it's a fourth order polynomial that um, Excel is estimating. And we use the input data, which is the independent variables, and that's our part load ratios down this side. And the part load ratios is is a uh, is a function of airflow, so it's a it's a percentage of the uh, full load airflow. And then we also use the independent variables, um, which in this instance is the um, the uh, fan power um, output. So, and this is calculated based on the fan power, so the brake horsepower. And in using this line estimate tool, um, we can output the coefficients for the new um, curve. And this is what that curve looks like um, if it's plotted on a, a plot from zero to unity just like the energy plus curve was plotted. Um, and this is what we discussed earlier. So in essence, these are your coefficients. And if we take a look at the input output reference, um, you can see that those uh, for a fan um, variable volume in the input output reference manual, you can see that um, it has one, two, three, four, five coefficients, and they're all based on this, this equation here. And that um, is what is plotting this, this function right here from zero to unity. So those are our coefficients right there. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, what we can do is just Copy and paste these as values. And then, and then we can copy these values into the um, fan power coefficients in Open Studio. So, and you want to make sure that um, you do it in the correct order. So this is our uh, fourth order coefficient first. So that's what our fourth order coefficient. So we're going to copy this value into the very last coefficient, which is five here. So it's actually going to go backwards. Copy this one to this. And then this one here to the coefficient three. And then this one here to the coefficient two. And this one here to the coefficient one. And that's it in a nutshell. And that is how you would adjust the fan power curves if you had um, a different fan configuration. So now with these fan power curve, this new fan power curve, um, instead of modeling a single fan, we are modeling a three fan, three plug fan array. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.